they reverse the Krebs cycle and that's how cancer forms. Cancer, uh, normally the Krebs cycle takes matter and then burns it to generate energy, which is ATP. Yep. But the Krebs cycle can go backwards. It could go in reverse and take energy and create matter, which is the mass that cancer cells use to build tumors up so quickly. So you don't want you don't want your Krebs cycle going backwards. You want it going forwards. Interestingly, cancer in its cycles produces lactic acid instead of carbon, uh, instead of CO2, carbon dioxide. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's one of the connections between intermediary short-term fatty acids uh, yeah. and cancer also. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, there's a couple of um, spots on the Krebs cycle where it's going backwards, where it can kind of get jammed up. Um, and uh, it needs, a, I think, a iron and uh, a certain type of iron in order to completely go through the Krebs cycle backwards easily. If, if someone thinks that they want to keep their Krebs cycle from going backwards, then um, an iron chelator, uh, you could look at our metacardium product, is something you might want to consider just so it doesn't have an easier time of, of going backwards like that. And so the mantra of keep your hemoglobin high or keep your iron high may not necessarily serve, right? Right. So you never want your iron high. That's why um, women women before menopause have a lower risk of a lot of diseases than men because uh, uh, they're bleeding once a month. 